How's it going, everyone? It's Sam. FTX just got the approval to sell another $1 billion worth of assets. I want to talk about that and talk about some of the other news in the market, including the EU's new ban on certain crypto transactions that's possibly going through. Uh, we have some insane inflation news and we have to talk about a couple other things as well if you don't mind hit subscribe turn on the bell notification so you can see future videos just like this there's also going to be a link underneath the video to margex in case you want to start trading cryptocurrency it does look like we're having kind of a reverse head and shoulders right now which could be pretty bullish now of course i don't know what's going to happen in the next couple days. I don't know what's going to happen in the next couple weeks, uh, but I do have some positions open because I do like when we see these pullbacks, we see significant areas of support. I like putting in long positions then. And of course, you can do this with a link underneath the video to Margex. There's no KYC, so you don't have to put in your personal information, your social security number, your name, anything like that. You can just sign up with an email, password, check their terms and conditions and start trading very quickly. There's also a link down there to CoinW in case you want to try that out. If you use the link, you get bonuses. And then you can also join a free trading group put on by CoinW that gives you setups. And it's actually really useful. Like it shows you a bunch of charts. It gives you patterns. It tells you what they're seeing, the professional traders. And it's free. So you just need to sign up with the link underneath the video. And then there's another link where you can join the Telegram group. Now, let's start by looking at this the fair value of Bitcoin over time. And this is actually coming from Digital Asset News. Rob, I love watching his channel. If you haven't checked it out, definitely check it out. He goes through the fair value of Bitcoin versus the price over time. And he goes from 2011 to now. In 2017, Bitcoin's price was about $14,000 at this point. It went up to about 19,000, but the upper band fair value was about 5,000. The actual fair value was 4.1K. The lower bound was 3.4K. And he goes on to show that it falls below in bear markets and then goes well above in bull markets. Back in 2021, the Bitcoin price was like 64,000 right before this. It was 69,000 right after this. But the upper uh, band was right around 34K, 35K. The fair value was right around 28K. Now, just a few years later, we are significantly up. Like right now in the cycle, let me just scroll to the perfect time here. The upper bound fair value is 100K. The fair value is 82.5K. I mean, that's significant. Even the lower bound fair value is above where we're at now. And this is kind of a conservative model, right? In the bull markets, it's well below the current the, the price. Like if you look at the last bull market, it was around 30K when the price was at 60 or 70K. Now... The fair value is 82K. If we scroll out a little bit, he goes to October 2024. The fair value is 104K. The upper bound is 126. And it is exponential. So, I mean, you start looking a little bit further down the line. And yeah, we're looking at 110K, 135K. That's the end of the year. So, I do think we could see that six figure Bitcoin that's going to blow a lot of uh, people away, which is why I'm so bullish and why I continuously talk about leverage because if you can play it right like this 2x gain in bitcoin can make you very wealthy and this is again the fair value we've seen it go well above every single bull market usually two to five times higher than the fair value so that's why it's not crazy to think we could see a 150,000 a 200,000 dollar bitcoin this cycle now let me know your thoughts on that underneath the video EU cracks down on cash and crypto payments. New regulations, which were greenlit by the majority of the EU Parliament's lead commission on March 19, established specific limitations on cash transactions. Notably, any cash payment exceeding $10,000 will be, or 10,000 euros will be prohibited, and anonymous transactions above 3,000 euro will also be outlawed. Perhaps cryptocurrency payments are the most contentious aspect of the new AML package. Under the new laws, any crypto payments made using unidentified self-custody wallets will become illegal. That's crazy. Any crypto payments. This applies to any digital wallet. It can be mobile, desktop, or browser-based. Now, uh, this is slated to begin within three years of their official entry into force. So you'll have, it sounds like, a few years, even if this goes through, I've seen the EU start to require uh, people to send in information about self-custody wallets. This is uh, disappointing to see. 
And I think some people will obviously not follow it. Um, but it is something that we're going to have to deal with. And I'm guessing other countries will try to do the same thing. Everyone wants, everyone wants a little bit of that tax revenue. Everyone wants more control, which Bitcoin is specifically made so that they cannot control you. Now, honestly, uh, I don't really care too much. I mean, I do care. I, I would prefer not to have uh, my information out there on government websites, but it's not like it's too hard to find out anyways, unless you put it through mixers. Like if you have an on-ramp and an off-ramp that's tied to your name, then they can pretty much see what you're doing with your crypto anyways. And if you're already reporting your taxes, okay. Uh, you know, there are other implications that, hey, maybe you get your asset seized one day and then they know that you own this amount of crypto. So I get why some people would be upset about that. But it's something that I saw coming and we don't know what's going to happen in the end. I I think people in the U.S. would probably push back more than people in the EU, but I could always be wrong. But this also makes sense because just yesterday we talked about how uh, BlackRock was literally making a stable coin. Uh, they are going to fund it or they already have funded this project with $100 million in USDC and they are aiming to provide a stable token value pegged to $1 and an opportunity for dividends by putting that money into U.S. Treasuries. So, I mean, BlackRock's trying to get in the game. Obviously, they're going to be pretty controlling. They're going to be very, uh, I don't know, very compliant with governments. And yeah, they're going to get a lot more information on you, obviously, if you hold this token. But it might be something that a lot of people use in the end. Uh, and I talked about that more yesterday, why people would want this and why BlackRock would want to create a stable coin. If you want to see that video, definitely check it out. Now, we do have some news, though. From Mr. 100 or Mrs. 100 or they 100, uh, the group of 100, uh, whoever this is, is buying a lot more Bitcoin. 100 Bitcoin, 102 Bitcoin, 102.3 Bitcoin, 101, 103. This is all in the last about 48 hours. Just an insane amount of buying uh, from Mr. 100. I'd say, what, 2,000, maybe 2,500 Bitcoin, something like that. And yeah, they're buying the dip. They continue to buy the dip. Now, I do want to talk about some inflation news. I want to talk about uh, FTX selling another $1 billion of an asset. But first, I do want to talk about Helium Mobile. Now, a couple weeks ago, I made a video talk about how I've been blown away by Helium Mobile. Their parent company snagged a deal to work with T-Mobile on a distributed wireless network that will help boost capacity levels on T-Mobile's nationwide 5G network. So you can sign up for $20 a month. There's a link to this underneath the video too. Uh, you can sign up, get a free month with my code friend. Uh, but otherwise, you get unlimited data for $20 a month, which is just incredible. I've been trying it out for over a month now on my second phone, and I might be switching over completely. You can also turn on something called Discovery Mapping, which allows them to see where your phone's at, and they actually reward you in token for that. Once you have the app, you can just go over to the mapping section and then enable discovery mapping. At the time of this recording, I have about $25 approximately worth of token. Now, the reason that they reward you for this is so that they can continue to grow their network stronger by knowing where people are at so they know where to put more hotspots. No matter what, if you just want to try out the network and see if it's better or better for the money than what you use now, there is a free month trial, so you can literally add it to your phone in addition to what you have now. Without missing out, you can try it out for a month, see if you like it, and then you can switch over if you're interested. Again, there are links underneath. Okay, Bitcoin demand in Argentina is reaching a new high point. So their value of their currency has dropped by about 4x over the last year. That's nuts. So, I mean, take a look at this. The inflation rate in Argentina increased to 276% from 254%. Uh, and yeah, it's averaged 190% from 1944 to 2024. That is absolutely insane. I mean, we complain about uh, inflation in Europe and in the US and some of these countries. But like, imagine you have $100,000 and now it's worth... $25,000 a year later or $30,000 like you have to buy assets and I think that's part of the reason that we saw some of the highest numbers of purchases in Argentina now honestly I 
I'm surprised this number isn't higher. 35,000 customers in Argentina purchased Bitcoin in the week ending March 10. This is a new record. I would not be surprised to see this go much higher because honestly, 35,000 people is way smaller than I would have thought for a country as big as Argentina. Let's look up the Argentina uh, Argentina population here. 45 million, 46 million. So I mean, you're talking about a very small percentage, still like a hundredth of a percent of the people there are buying Bitcoin, at least weekly. So yeah, quite surprising that there aren't more people buying Bitcoin, but that shows you even in a country that has such high inflation where you know they are growing the amount of buyers of Bitcoin, still shows you how little people still either have access to Bitcoin or still understand about Bitcoin, that only 35,000 people are buying it. But I mean, take a look at ARS versus Bitcoin, or we should do Bitcoin, Bitcoin versus ARS, which is their token or their their uh, currency here. Look at this all time high. I mean, this isn't even close to the value that it was last bull market. It's almost worth 10 times. Bitcoin's already gone up 10 X in their own currency. That's absolutely insane. So I think we'll still continue to see a lot more buyers of Bitcoin in places like this. Now, FTX, uh, this is going around in the last 24 hours, is going to unload a $1 billion stake in Anthropic to pay off bankruptcy debts within the week uh, ahead. Now, this is not crypto. You know, we know that they've been selling a bunch of crypto assets. This is an AI startup. So Anthropic is considering a slate of investors. And apparently they have about a $1 billion stake in it. Um, they're trying to sell this within the next couple of weeks. We know that they've been, like I said, offloading a bunch of crypto assets to like GBTC, but uh, they bought this at about a $530 million valuation, and now they're going to be able to sell, it sounds like, for about a billion dollars. Kind of uh, interesting that it's not even gone up more. I mean, they bought it years ago, and when you look at like crypt, uh, AI assets, AI companies, AI cryptos, like how much have they gone up in the last couple of years? Just absolutely insane amounts. So I'm kind of surprised, like I said, that this has not gone up more in two years, but you know, it might be a liquid, so it'd be hard to sell. Uh, but obviously like AI is so hot. This is just good to know if you're an FTX prior investor, a prior FTX investor, and you're still waiting, like they're still selling assets to hopefully pay you out more. Now, of course, I want to hear your thoughts on all this underneath the video. Definitely check out the links to Helium Mobile. It uh, looks like we have some pretty good price action too. Like I said earlier in the video, we could be getting a reverse head and shoulders here, which would be quite bullish. We had a pretty weak, a weak week, uh, a bad week for the Bitcoin ETFs. Just yesterday, we had the fifth consecutive outflow day. We've never seen that from the Bitcoin ETFs. So hopefully next week is a stronger week. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised we're not down further. I mean, when did the selling start? March 18, something like that. And yeah, we're we're down just from 67,000 to 65,000 and we've seen hundreds of millions of dollars sold from the ETFs a day, like net. So, yeah, I'm kind of surprised we're not down even further. Again, it just reiterates that there are buyers, strong buyers that are in this space that that don't care if we're at 60,000 or 58,000, 62,000, 64,000, they're, they're buying right now. They want to accumulate more. So again, once these ETFs flip, which I think they will, I, I think that the uh, GBTC flippening is coming here soon where BlackRock is bigger than GBTC. Also, GBTC is gonna flip itself. Like it's going to change. I think they're, they're gonna change their, free, their fee structure because they're just bleeding GBTC or they're bleeding uh, Bitcoin. They're losing one to 2% of their Bitcoin a day. Over a week, that's really painful. I mean, imagine if you lost five or 10% of your assets over a week, 5% or 10% of your income stream over a week, like you'd probably be looking at changing something, obviously. So I think they were kind of okay when the market was just going up and their AUM was about the same, but when the market falls and they're also losing significant amounts of their assets, then that really hurts. That's a double whammy. They don't want that to happen. They want to flip 
people into actually buying up the GBTC trust. So I think they're kind of going to scramble to get something set up so they stop bleeding so much Bitcoin. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts on all this underneath the video. As I said, check out the links to Helium Mobile underneath. It's a great plan. And uh, like I said, I've really been blown away. I'm not kidding. I've been really blown away by it. So check that out. There are also links to Marjex and to CoinW. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one.